Hi, and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. Today I'm at the Summer Doll, Bear, and Folk Art Show at the Holiday Inn in Dedham, Massachusetts. It looks like there are some great dealers here today. Let's take a look. This booth has a nice selection of vintage and newer dolls. Here's a Barbie and Skipper Deluxe House from 1965. Check out this newer retro style Barbie case. Everything is fabulous in pink. These Hasbro Elvis dolls came out in the 1990s. Some folk art dolls and wood carvings from Eastern Europe. This doll may be from Russia. I've noticed a lot of Russian dolls have white yarn hair. Star Wars and Kiss action figures. You can find something for every member of the family at a doll show. This booth has a nice selection of vintage dolls. These are from the 1950s. The pretty doll on the right is by Valentine. The ballerina in gold right in the front is Elise by Madame Alexander. And here are some Dawn and Friends dolls from the 1970s. Ideal Tammy dolls. Vintage and mod era Barbie dolls. Good selection. Of course there are many antique dolls at the show too. These little German China head dolls are wonderful. Some bisque dolls in regional costumes. A lovely lady. This China head doll has an unusual molded scarf. A child doll, so delicately painted. A couple of great boudoir dolls from the 1920s with molded cloth faces. Here's a better look. A miniature room with painted wood furniture, and behind it, a tin kitchen. This is Winnie the Pooh, made by R. John Wright. That's Magic Hair Chrissy on the right, and some Barbies from the Dolls of the World series. Check out this Bannister Baby doll by Sun Rubber in her fantastic original box. Very unusual felt dolls with painted googly eyes. Dealer Carol Black has some lovely little dolls to fit in any collection. This one's a Belton, and this is a Kessner 143. The China Lady is a Ruth Gibbs doll. Here we have a K-Star R boy on the left, Simon and Halbig doll in red, and a Jumeau on the right. Here's a better look at the Jumeau doll. This beautiful French doll is an ED. Here's another Jumeau doll on the left, and her friend is an A Mark reproduction. The doll with the strawberry blonde hair is a CM Bergman. I love this painted cloth doll from Williamsburg. The fabric of her dress suggests she was probably made in the 1930s. The United Federation of Doll Clubs table has a display of BAPS dolls to promote the current exhibit at their doll museum in Kansas City. They're miniature felt dolls of storybook characters. This is a Stella doll by Connie Lowe. Stella is featured on the cover of the latest issue of Doll News Magazine. Here's Beth Savino from the toy store in Toledo, Ohio. She's here with her booth full of Stife animals. This huge Basset Hound is a studio piece made by Stife in the 1950s. He has hand-painted wooden eyes. That rooster is very cool. She has a great selection here. It's not too early to start thinking about Christmas. Moving on, here's a wonderful hand-painted cloth doll and her teddy bear friend. This is a reproduction of a 1930s doll. So sweet. Some primitive antique cloth dolls. They would look great displayed in an old house. Here's a composition Lone Ranger doll. Hummel dolls. And Parian reproductions. You can find all kinds of accessories to display with your dolls too. More beautiful German dolls. This is a big Armin Marseille 390. I thought her two companions were celluloid dolls, but the tag says they're painted bisque.
china heads display nicely in a small space. An Armin Marseille 251 character baby. Jonathan Green has these fabulous wooden dolls from Germany. They're new dolls in the style of the old peg woodens. They come in several sizes and have hand-painted faces. Susan Circus has written a pattern book to make clothes for them. These are modern Mary Hoyer dolls. Kramer Poopen dolls from Germany. They have carved wooden heads and human hair wigs. Some sweet Kathy Cruz dolls with a book. A beautiful antique Kathy Cruz doll. These are vintage Goaty's Little Lady dolls designed by Ruth Gibbs. These are very hard to find in their original boxes. Jonathan has an amazing selection. Adorable Armin Marseille googly dolls with bisque heads and composition bodies. The two smaller ones are 323s. The larger one in the middle is mold number 200. These little darlings are K-Star R twins with five-piece flapper-style bodies. More great antique German dolls. Ann Tardy has some outfits for your vintage dolls. I see some for Ginny and Jill here. This is a 10-inch American character Tony doll, mint in her original box. Here's a composition Vogue Toddles, Wee Willy Winky. This is a very rare Vogue cloth doll. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Here we have some crush figures and Parian dolls. A better look at their faces. This Parian doll is known as Alice because her molded hair band looks like the early illustrations of Alice in Wonderland. And these two are flat tops or Civil War style. The one on the right has a molded blouse. A wax over composition doll with molded hat and feather. Some nice 1930s composition dolls. The black patsy is hard to find. This patsy has a mohair wig. Amazing composition character doll. I think I showed her in a previous video. She has a molded loop in her hair to attach a ribbon. The two little characters are Gretchen and Hans, Cameron Reinhardt, mold number 114. A couple of regional dress dolls. Here's a 17 inch Jumeau in the red dress and a little Kessner 143 next to her. Some Ada Lum cloth dolls from Hong Kong. A G.I. Joe soldier and sailor. Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket by Ideal. Pinocchio has a composition head and wooden body. I think Jiminy's all wood. Look at these dialing all bisques, all ready for your dollhouse. The big doll here is by Fulper Pottery of New Jersey, one of the few companies that made bisque dolls in America. Yesterdoll's booth has some amazing dresses for antique or reproduction dolls. Check this out, the little chap's master bedroom. You don't see these play sets very often. These wonderful little characters are by Wee Paulson, one of the early Nyata artists. And these are R.E. Haas wooden dolls. This felt doll by Maggie Iacono is Jo from Little Women. She was the souvenir from the UFDC Region 15 conference last year. A couple of tiny mohair bunnies by Herman. Some more great miniature dolls and accessories. This is a Jumeau doll. A wonderful antique teddy bear with his celluloid roly-poly rabbit. These brightly colored bears are Thimbleberry Originals by Tracy Lee Meyer. Lovely antique fabric panel or cut and sew dolls. 
Collins Gifts has some great Halloween items. These folk art figurines are by Alan Cunningham. I love these pumpkin people. And these awesome candy containers. Okay, back to dolls. Remember these gem dolls by Hasbro? And Cheryl Teagues, the supermodel? These cloth dolls were made by displaced Hungarians. In Stephen Lamoretti's booth, I spotted this Fanny the Fallen Angel doll. She's one of the American character whimsies from the 1960s. She has a unique face with closed eyes and pink hair. More 70s celebrities, Diana Ross and the Captain and Tennille by Mego. A Show and Hut Pin Family doll and a lovely little dollhouse. Thanks for joining me today. If you want to be notified when I have new videos posted, click the subscribe button and the little bell icon. See you next time.